right, so now we're going to go and learn about Kahoot. What is it? It sounds fun, but what is it? So I just Googled Kahoot. We're going to click on that and notice this is what appears. Um, remember, sign up is free completely. Um, so you can click on the sign up. It's free app. There's no cost to it. Um, and it'll ask you if you're a teacher or not. It'll ask you to sign up for Google. Please use your Google account. It's very helpful. Um, I'm going to use my Google account. Um, it's the school account, so feel free to use that. Um, as you can see, I have a couple of uh, quizzes that are already here. Um, so I'm just going to click on one of them so you can kind of just see what is this about? How do I create one? And I'll go through the steps with that as well. So I use this particular in a Geometry B credit 3, which is going over circles. Having students really engage in the activity of knowing all the different vocabulary words in this, in this lesson. So I had students do flashcards, uh, prior kind of review, and then they would play this game. Um, but how do I create it? And then what does it look like once I play it? So just like the others, there's um, videos you can watch, but I'm gonna just kind of go through with you how you can create your own. Um, but I just wanted to show you how you could create a new uh, game. So you'll press create new just like you saw I did there. They do have slides as you can see where it says teach with slides, Kahoot for formative assessment, student selfie Kahoot, um, get to know your teacher. So they have some templates that you can kind of use. Um, feel free to do so. If you just want to create a blank template, I just want to run through that. So here you'll see here uh, the seconds. That's um, how many seconds the students actually get to kind of review the question and as well as answer the question before it time runs out and you can change that so it's 5 10 20 30 60 90 I would um, default to 30 um, seconds at least 20 to 30 seconds depending on your question um, you want to give students enough wait time so that way they can feel like they have a chance to kind of figure things out um, if they need some time to process this is where you would put your questions. So question one, what is my favorite color? Now yours would be content specific. And I love that this thing also has autocorrect. Um, you can also put an image if you'd like. You can upload an image. You can upload a YouTube link. Um, so as you can see from the previous, um, for the geometry questions, I did upload an image for students to look at. And then I can add in different options. So this one also has the ability to put in equations, which I like, especially for those math teachers out there, but I'm just going to put in a couple, red, green, blue, orange, and yes, I probably should have put those in a different order, but this is a mock question. Um, you also want to select an answer um, as to which one would be correct. So I selected red as correct. It's going to be worth a thousand points, though. You can alter that if you'd like. Um, and then you can just keep adding a question. So I can make it true or false. Um, I could say, what is my question? Is my name Mrs. Agra Sanchez? True or false? Um, it's obviously true, so I'm going to select that. You want to make sure you're selecting the answer as well. And you just can keep going and keep going and keep going, adding as many questions as you like. It's going to ask you what kind of question you'd like. And um, once you're done, um, you could press the done button and you can give it a title, as you can see. So I'm not going to actually finish this whole thing, but you can give it a title, description. And then it'll save to your Kahoot, so that way you can kind of just um, know that it's there. And it can be visible only to you or to everyone. It's up to you. Um, I don't want to actually do this one, so I'm going to exit out. But that's just how you could put in each question. Um, there are templates, so if you want to kind of use their template or import from a spreadsheet, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so you would download your template and then fill it out. It's a lot easier, especially if you're doing more than one question. Um, so that's one option that you can use to make your Kahoot. 
Um, but let's actually not create one right now. I kind of want to show you just one of the ones I use so that way um, when it comes time to game day you'll know exactly how do I actually play the games that or the the quiz that I I made. So you'll see that they're all saved that the ones that you actually finished and saved. Um, so I'll play my game here and this is what will appear and it'll say okay how would you like to play um, I usually do classic um, kind of player versus player you could do team though so that's a shared device um, which is fun um, and then there's gaming options that you can choose from in fact I'll go back and kind of see what gaming options there are because so there's lobby music you can choose your the music that you want to use um, name generator um, it can create names it can randomize the order of the questions um, so there's just so many options wow I usually do classic and then this will appear um, so it'll say okay ready to join in you'll need a pin as you can see um, and you'll wait for people to kind of play you'll need at least one player so um, I guess I will join in so I added myself just so you can kind of see what this looks like as far as um, how to play so I'll try to keep up so you'll see this are you ready I'm ready let's do this which of these is a major arc and here I have 28 seconds to decide which of these is a major arc. I'm going to say it is. And we will see if I'm right. I got it correct. And it shows kind of how many people got correct. So it gives you some feedback on how on. And you can have a discussion. Hey, why did we get this incorrect? Um, let's have a discussion. Why did so-and-so think that this was the correct answer so that's kind of nice and then it also shows kind of the game board so it inspires some healthy competition I'm not gonna go through all of these but um, it kind of it's great to have that formative system to have students kind of engaged um, students are really they're always asking me like when are we gonna play the next cahoots game I really like to play it and in fact students who weren't as engaged kind of really liked um, they were very they're very competitive bunch so this is just one of the many tools you can use, like I said, to kind of uh, add to engagement in your classroom. And what's awesome is a lot of students, they all have phones, so they'll use that as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this video, and please let me know if you have any questions.